Hello, I'm Mark, and this is In the Round, Building Big Part 2, Rolling Slabs. We'll be visiting my school's ceramic studio again today, where I want to quickly show you how to roll the slab. You will note that I'm working with paper clay. For how to make it, see part one of this series, How to Make Paper Clay. First, roughly prep the clay. It's not crucial to wedge it thoroughly, as you can correct any problems you might encounter as you roll the slab. Throw it out to about two inches thick. You might want to taper the leading edge where it will go into the roller. Set the slab roller to its widest setting. Sandwich the clay between two pieces of canvas and roll it through. It helps to do this on a thin board. Note that some slab rollers are unidirectional, so don't roll the wrong way if you're using one of this type. Note also that these canvases can get very dusty from dry clay residue, so handle them carefully to minimize toxic dust in the air, and consider wearing an N95 mask or respirator. The slab rolling process stretches the clay out and will likely result in cracking along the edges and little fissures all over the surface. It's important not to let these grow, so periodically press the edge cracks together, fold them over, fill them in, or cut them off. As you do, try to work the slab towards a more rectangular shape, also, compress the whole surface with a rib and a little moisture. I like to use a Bondo spreader for this. With every pass, lift the clay up so it doesn't stick to the canvas. If the canvas becomes completely saturated, move the clay to a dry spot or to a new piece of canvas. If the slab gets too long for your canvas, cut it into smaller sections. Adjust the roller down in one quarter to one half inch increments, fixing cracks and air pockets with each pass until you reach the desired thickness. For large scale building, I like one quarter to half inch thick slabs. Flip the slab at least once so you can work both sides. Do a final check that there are no edge or surface cracks that can grow as you shape the slab. Trim and thoroughly compress the edges, then dry the slab to a usable stiffness. 